Today I'm making a very classic French bistro dish, a cassoulet with confit of duck. Now for those who don't know what cassoulet is, it's a very winter, hearty, sort of a stew, then a bake if you like, and it's got loads and loads of meat in it. Absolutely love it, especially in those colder months. So to start with, I've got some cannellini beans here, and what I've done is soak them overnight and then cook them in some water, and I've also added some carrots, some bay leaves, some garlic and onions, and that really gives these beans a really nice smell. For me, when I smell these beans cooking, it reminds me of my mum's house. We would have this every winter. It smells absolutely delicious. And you can see here, after cooking them for an hour and a half, they become nice and soft and tender. Now, we're gonna add some of the flavours. So I've got some tomato paste here, and that's gonna make these beans even richer in flavour. And for the first load of meat, we've got some smoked speck here. And I absolutely love the flavour of this. It's got a really meaty flavour, also that smokiness. So it's a cured pork belly. So I'm going to cut a nice big slab off there. And all I do is simply place it in the centre here and allow that to cook for a further 45 minutes. Now I've seasoned the beans, and it's really important to season the beans after they've been cooked, or else they'll take forever to cook if you season at the beginning. And I've only put a little bit of salt. Because the speck is salty, you just wanna make sure you balance that out, so don't overdo it with the salt. Okay, so while that's cooking for 45 minutes, we'll get on to the rest of the meat. I've got some really nice pork belly here, and what I'll do is open that up. Now, I only want a little bit. You can see I've got little pieces of meat because altogether there's going to become a lot of meat. So I've just got a small amount here. What I'm doing is just quickly scoring this skin and that'll ensure that we get that really nice crunchy crackling. Also, a good seasoning of salt. Make sure you massage that in really, really well. And I'm going to place it on a tray. I've got a big tray here because we're going to be adding more meat afterwards. But this is the first stage. Pop that in the oven, 200 degrees for about 35 minutes or until that crackling is really crispy. So I've just removed the pork belly from the oven and listen to this. So just to continue the cooking process of the meat, I've got two Toulouse sausages or any garlic sausage or a good quality Italian sausage for this. We'll place them on the tray. And here I've got some confit of duck that's ready made. Confit of duck essentially is duck or any protein cooked in its own fat. And usually in the old days they would do this to preserve it so it would last longer. These days we're lucky, we can have them all ready made just like these ones. And they, all they need is reheating. So we place them on to the tray with the rest of the meat. Tell you what, if you like your meat, this is the recipe for you. And then we're gonna place it back in the oven for another 30 minutes, so that's nice and golden brown. And then halfway through that cooking process, I've got some tomatoes here, and we're gonna add them to the tray so they get nice and caramelised too. now and all I have to do is cut it up into bite-sized pieces and don't forget that beautiful speck that's cooked also. The only thing I won't chop up is the confit of duck because I want them to sit nicely on the top of the dish. So we've got our beans here and I've drained it off a little bit. Now it's really important to take out the bay leaf, the thyme, that bouquet garni, but I always keep the carrots. They're my favourite part. They're so soft and sweet once they've been cooked for this long. So we put one layer of the beans. So what I like to do is layer it. So I'll add some of the, the really roasted tomatoes so you can see they're all nice and soft and we'll just scatter them around evenly. And we'll get all of this meat, the pork belly, the speck, those really lovely sausages, all of that goes on this one big layer. And of course that crackling, don't forget the crackling. And then we just top it with the rest of these beans. And the roasted tomatoes. And of course, our hero, these confit of duck, they just sit nice and snug 
just on the top there. You can see this is going to have loads and loads of flavour. To finish it off, I've got some breadcrumbs here, fresh breadcrumbs, a couple of good handfuls straight over the top. So generous amount of that, just to make sure that they're really golden brown. Just a bit of olive oil. Lid on, and then we're going to cook this for 35 minutes at 180 degrees, so all those flavours entwine together. Then I'm taking the lid off and letting those crumbs just get really nice and golden brown for another five minutes. Look, I'm going to show you how I plate it up. If you're lucky like me, you get the confit of duck on the plate. So just that there. So make sure you've got some beans, some of that sausage there, the tomatoes, and of course, oh, I love this part. Beautiful carrot, it's so sweet. So we pop that on there. Bit of that pork belly. And it's not everyday food. It's fun food, it's rustic, it's old school French. A little bit of green salad on the side just to freshen it all up. Mm. That is so good. Yum.